My name is Caitlin Roberts Donovan, and I'm the Program Manager for Fellowships in Career Education. And this is Five Minute Fellowships, in which I give you the what, the who, the how, and the when of any given fellowship in five minutes or less. And this is completely unscripted, as you will probably be able to tell. Um, today, I would like to talk to you about the Thomas J. Watson Fellowship, or the Watson. What? The Watson is what we like to call a Build Your Own Adventure Fellowship. Um, it funds a year of purposeful and independent travel outside of the U.S. And there's no deliverable. This isn't like graduate research that's getting towards a thesis or some sort of portfolio. This is a project to pursue a topic or question or idea that you couldn't address in any other way than literally traveling the world. Um, previous topics include such things as um, death practices around the world or small boat cultures in a world of rising sea levels, big cats, vegetarianism, um, various takes on religion. If you can think it up, Watson could potentially fund it. Um, one thing to note though, uh, if you go back and look through some of the previous Watson, um, Watson winners and their projects, don't think, oh man, well somebody's already done that topic so I won't be able to do it. Watson says that if the 50 best proposals that they get are about volcanoes in every, any given year, then they will have 50 people out there studying volcanoes. And again, the thing about the topic is that even if it looks similar to someone, someone's uh, topic from before, no one has addressed it quite the way that you would. So that's a thing to keep in mind. Who? The Watson is open to graduating seniors of any nationality. So you apply for it in the fall of your senior year, and then your travel year is the year after you graduate. Watson explicitly says that they're interested in investing in people, not projects. Um, so for instance, one of their board members said they're interested not in the polio vaccine, but in Jonas Salk. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have the laundry list of leadership positions on your resume, right? Think of it this way. What what might not have happened if you hadn't been there, right? What project might not have been done if you hadn't been asking the right questions? Or um, what sort of change have you made, right? Not change big C, change little c, right? Um, so think about that a little bit. The how. Um, the components of the Watson application are an online form, a two-minute video, a personal statement, a product proposal, resume, transcripts, for which there is no GPA minimum, once more, no GPA minimum, and one letter from a faculty reference. And I'm happy to talk to you more about all of those various components, um, either through uh, virtual pop-ups or through appointments. The when. So, um, the Watson is a fellowship for which you apply for Wellesley's nomination to go forward to the national competition. So it's kind of a two-parter. Um, so, at the end of the summer, at the end of July or the beginning of August, we have an optional priority draft deadline um, for a select number of fellowships of which Watson is one. If you can get us bullet points or paragraphs or a mind map or anything uh, by that date, you are guaranteed a draft review appointment um, in our busiest season, which is August and September. You can, of course, submit drafts before then and make an appointment. We There is no limit to the number of draft reviews that we can do. I think my limit with one person was 12 iterations um, of one draft, um, and I'm quite proud of that. Um, but um, So if you meet the priority draft deadline, then you're guaranteed an appointment in our busiest season, and then you would need to complete your application by the campus deadline in early October. Then if your application is nominated, you go forward and submit um, by the national deadline, which is in November. And uh, notifications about the final results are typically given in March. A um, Couple of things to think about. First, I think it's best to start thinking about your Watson kind of like your junior spring or the summer before senior year. Um, let things roll around, right? Like, what might you wanna do? Where might you go? What questions you might ask? Who might you be in contact with? You don't have to have this stuff ironed out and you know set in stone, but start thinking about it. Another thing to note is that Wellesley kind of has its own Watson. Um, the Knopfel uh, Fellowship for Foreign Travel is basically Wellesley's Watson, um, and that application is due in the winter of your senior year. Um, and then there is a traveling fellowship open to alumni who are over, over the age of 25, um, and that's called the Mary Elvira Stevens. So I have made it with five seconds to spare, holy moly, 
Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to email fellowships at wellesley.edu. We have a Watson resource on our website and really make an appointment or drop by pop-ups. We would love to talk to you more about this. And we would be so excited to hear your idea about what your Watson might be. So this has been 5-Minute Fellowships. Take care, everybody.